I paid for priority and yet I feel like it took over 5 days before I got this. Hey guys, you're welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessica and you're most welcome. Or if you are a returnee, thank you so much for always making our time to watch my videos. So please, if you have not subscribed, I would love you to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications and um, try to like this video so that every other person can also see this video. Thank you. So this was me at uh, TLS office when I went for my biometrics. If you have ever used TLS office mainland in Lagos, please may I know your experience at the comment section. <laughs> so yeah, at this point in my life, every second counted. So the next day I had to fly back to the east and um, it was a very busy you know, period for me. Okay, yeah, so I came out where you guys can actually see it very well. Yeah, I think the lighting is good here. Let's see what is inside together, right? Hold on. So guys, the long-awaited visa was finally out and was returned to me through courier services because I paid for it when I was doing my biometrics. Because I thought about it, there is no need flying up and down and the, the, the cost of flight was so much. Yeah, so but I was really, really excited. And right here, because they gave us um, UK SIM, I kept checking the bag to know if there was any other thing. And you can see that right here i don't even know where it is and i don't know how it is i've never traveled before so i was just busy looking all around and you can see the excitement on my face when i saw my visa <laughs> how did you feel when you saw yours if you have ever traveled so if you know emo state or you reside in emo state you will know the impact sit at home has on that state so i didn't want to lose my flight at all and i had to impromptly fly back to lagos when i heard there is an impromptu sit at home so i was just there in my cousin's place until i left nigeria finally guys we're moving it's actually tomorrow let me show you yeah that's all my stuff um yeah okay like i don't even know what to remove everything is just ready what i have in here is just for stuff it's crazy trust me it is but i'm happy to um i'm happy today is a reality right i'll carry every one of you along so... my mom's today that's my sister my child still sleeping soon so guys this is where my story begins <laughs> i used um royal emerald from kotonu to gawik airport and the people you're seeing inside the sienna bus they are my travel buddies actually i'm going to say a little about my experience from lagos badagri the roads are so bad but immediately we entered kotonu the roads were so smooth at this point, our uh, Siena bus spoiled immediately after our uh, uh, passports were stamped, right? 
so we had to wait a little until the car was fixed and then we started moving again yeah so but it was a crazy experience like i was looking around i'm like everything is so organized in this city i'm telling you you see the bike men they are all wearing their helmets all of them like all of them and they know their tracks in fact i noticed some things the roads were so clean so so neat there was no pothole at all then the another thing again that happened was i changed eight thousand naira and what i got was five thousand sefa you can see it here five thousand sefa i was like you don't finish i be is there the other thing people in the car they were, they were laughing at me but you can see the road to the airport i was just trying to manage my battery my battery was so down the road to the airport was so clean like this is the road in fact this is the airport right now and then i was able to when we stopped really yeah so we all wrapped our bags and we wrapped our bags at 2500 sefa each it was weighed and then we went into the airport to go and wait for you know the time for our body yeah so please let me hear from you if you have ever used um kotonu routes what was your experience was it hectic how did you find it there was no seats in this airport though <laughs> my my <laughs> my experience was another thing so this was like well this would be another gist for another day just enjoy the rest of the vlog guys Sorry guys, I finished the food before I even captured it. I was so hungry. So so hungry. It was just bread and tea, and their bread and tea said, ah. Your luggage is stowed securely in the overhead lockers. Keeping all aisles and exits clear. again and i was happy when the food came thinking it was rice but man what they served i didn't like it at all i didn't even touch it i just closed it and then ate the cake i saw there i was so so hungry and famished i was tired but yet you can see the look on my face you know work at all <laughs> jessica So guys, above the clouds we went and then the next time we came down from that clouds, <laughs> the next thing I saw was UQ. <laughs> so we're actually very close to Gawick Airport and uh, it was just God's grace that was keeping me at this point. The journey was too long for me. Very, very long. I don't know if you have ever used this route. Please let me know at the comment section. So at this point, I actually broke down when I remembered my family and just realizing that this is actually true. Like, Jessica, you did UK like this. So <laughs> I was crying. The tears kept coming. I was trying to comport myself, but it kept coming. So guys, hey, interestingly, this is Gatwick 
airport so we're heading towards the immigration checks where we can be checked and then so that i can go and carry my ludo and then enter into uk proper proper you don't understand which side they talk so <laughs> so this was actually after the immigration checks yeah i went to go and carry my box meanwhile my brothers have already when i call my brothers i'm talking about my travel buddies they had already you know brought out my bags and then we were ready to go those guys were amazing so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please help me share this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and again wait for the next video because i'm going to be traveling to london very soon and i'm going to capture it and i guess you will not like to miss that video love you bye <laughs>